Why did I come down here? Away from me, warp. Oh! Welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. So, I'm lost down here. I have no idea how to get out of here. And that fish is infected? He looks green. Um, so let's just... That's a, that, uh, that was a ghost revised in. I have no idea which way the base was. I was thinking it was in front of us. Engine powering. But we just saw a ghost revised in that way. Okay, let's go straight ahead then. Yep, there's the ghost of Ivan. And okay, we're going straight towards it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There is a big dip right underneath this. That is a big dip. Oh, I want to mark this area though. No, don't, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't attack me. Nope. Ooh, ah! Boy, you did a ton of damage. Okay, well, well, notice we're still here? I don't think so. This is a big dip, though. Um, oh, no, not again. I think it would be really nice if we can put a waypoint down. Didn't we come here with titanium? Yes, we did. I don't know how much titanium we need. We need copper. I don't have copper. Oh no. Okay. Well, let's just try and remember this area. Oh no. How am I going to get out of this unscathed? You're so scary. Okay. I'm not going to do rig for silent. I'm going to turn on my engine. And we're going to go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Where'd he go? Where's the Reaper? No, not the Reaper. Oh, and we're going straight towards the Ghost Leviathan. Mm. Mm, hi there. Don't hurt me. I All I want to do is go that way. Oh, down, down. No, up, 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 up. No, ah! No! Huh. You, you took a bite out of me. Oh! No, he's chasing us! Uh, let's just get up here and get out of here. Is he gonna chase us, like, forever and ever? No, nope. off my butt! Ah! That's a little late, bud. Oh no, is he still coming out? No! No, no! Okay, he's not coming towards us. Okay. We are safe and sound. This place is really cool. Look at the roof. Look at all these little buds up there that are illuminating the scenery. <gasps> Wait a second here, guys. Okay, I, I'm really terrified that something else is going to show up. Why? Well, that's a ghost leviathan. A dead one. That's the skeleton of a dead ghost leviathan. Do ghost leviathans hunt reapers? Hmm. Let's turn off engines. Engine powering down. And, oh my. Oh, we got a little sprinkler for our plants here. Ain't that awesome. So what we are going to do, we're going to go into this. Okay, we're going to get out. We're going to scan this. What? We can't? Can't tell what happened to you? Okay. I thought, oh, we were gonna come out here just to scan it, but I guess not. We'll go around quickly gathering up some resources before we move on. Oh, maybe I got a and then we can mark off this area. Can I attach to you? That'd be awesome if I could. Oh! I'm attaching to you. Oh, I'm bringing you down. Bringing you down with me. Oh, he's like, no. There we go. What a smooth landing. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, he's not happy that I did that. You want another? I'll do it again. Okay, I did it again. What are you gonna do about it? Hey, can I actually bring you into this green mist? Oh, you can breathe it, apparently. Oh. So let's just get back in our ship. Some systems need attention. <sighs> I forgot to fix ya. Let's go fix ya. Okay. I'm outside. Okay. One repair done. Two repairs done. Three repairs. I think that's it. We'll go take a look. Looks like he's happy that he's all fixed now. Alright. Time to head upwards. I have no idea what's going to be up here. But I'm kind of scared because there's a lot of bones everywhere. Like, is that another dead reaper? Is that the face of another reaper? That's the face of another reaper. Another dead reaper. Hmm. I don't get it. Why are they dying? They... They can do a ton of damage. I'm scared of them. Oh my... It's... It's dark. Wherever we've ended up. I think it might be nighttime out. That's why we can't see anything. There's lots of bone sharks here. I think we can still keep going up. I hear a reaper nearby. And there's warpers. And there's that. Let's just quickly go up. Oh, no, don't chase me. There's these plants here. Hmm, I don't think I've been here. Oh, it's daytime out. Oh, what was that? Oh, always scaring me. Oh, we're really far away. So we're near the mountain, actually. How about let's go take a visit to it? Because remember there was a weapons facility, I think, there? We could maybe go visit it because I actually didn't go inside. Hmm. So I think it's on that side of the mountain. So I'll bring you back once we're there. And there it is. You can see the tip of it. And parts of the mountain. I think it should be bigger though. Okay, and we are at the mountain. So that means we're in Reaper Leviathan territory. Is he coming up to us? He's coming in our direction. He's directly below us. They're still freaking me out. There's caves down there. Ooh, we're about to hit the edge. You know what? This is a good stopping point. Now, we got lots of food on us. So we're not going to have to worry about food as much once we're out. I'm just going to quickly unload everything. And then I'll take it back. So, uh, one thing I noticed, um, if we actually go down, yes, I want to go down, um, and we go down maybe, oh gosh, we're going down really far, right here, there's a cave, oh, warper, oh, warper right there, can we go inside this and explore? No. Ah! Shoot! No! I don't wanna- no. ah! Oh, okay. Uh, I'm done. Let's get out. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Why did I come down here? Away from me, Warper. Oh! No! Stop following me! No, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't don't you dare. I'm running. Ah! Welcome oh. to the old 
Ugh. Let's go. Let's go. There's a Reaper there. There's a Warper that's chasing my butt. Uh, ooh, these... Th oh, no. Okay, let's just grab one of those. Go back in. Not dealing with you guys. No. Okay, we can eat this. Bulbo tree. Here. <gasps> that's a purple artifact. Can I scan them, actually? Ooh, I can. Let's see. This carbon base device is lighter than it looks and features a symbol which resembles a U. Lit up in purple, despite the onboard power still functioning, algae growth on the exterior indicates it was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. While the technology is far beyond Federation levels and there is no obvious way to interface with it, it should nonetheless be possible to fabricate a precise physical copy of the device if necessary. Oh! Did I unlock a blueprint then? I must have. What is down here? Ooh. Ooh. What? There's a broken one. Oh. I already unlocked it. Force field controller. Oh, and we have a purple artifact too. This device matches no known technologies and is likely alien in nature. Power is being routed via the terminal to the nearby force field. Technology is far beyond anything encountered before by the Federation. Nonetheless, there is a good chance it functions like a regular lock and only requires the correct kind of key, which we already know that is true. So here, let's insert the tablet. Okay. And that should be unlocked. Great. Now let's get inside the prawn suit and get in. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database performing structural analysis. Hmm. Performing structural analysis. There's the data terminal. The music in here is scary too. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Discovered inside an alien facility, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It is likely a solid state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low-frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Ooh. We're going deeper and deeper into this place. <gasps> That's a data cube. We'll grab one of those. Oh gosh. It's getting more and more open inside here. Another data cube. Let's grab it. And there's another data terminal. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Hmm. This data set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of the facility's internal workings. Ooh, so we got blueprints. Construction material. The facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard, non-reactive -re metal amalgam. Synthesized from off-world materials, there is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means. Power. The schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed, but there is evidence the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. This sounds like there is a power plant in the lava zone. Layout. The facility consists of the upper engineering section where this schematic was found. In the control room, which is accessed via a security sealed elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon pool. Control. The control room is the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. 
However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or installed security measures. Hmm. Well, now we have an indication. There must be a thermal power plant on this world. Uh oh. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Um. Brown suit. I'm sorry. But I don't think I can bring you down this. It looks like I can fall for. I, I can't bring you back up. It's too small, too. Okay. I'll see you later, prawn suit. Oh, shoot. Oh, my. That wasn't scary at all. Could I bring my Cyclops into here? I think I could. Let's go bring our Cyclops into here. I think that would be awesome. Can I go back up though? I think going up is the most scariest part. Hi! I'm back! Let's get into the Cyclops. Put our prawn suit in there. And then we'll go park our Cyclops inside this facility. What is that? Is that a bird? <gasps> are we attached to a bird? Oh my god, we are attached to a bird. Oh, you're mine now. Let me eat you. Or are you gonna fly me into ex into Neverland? Ah! You won't die! Okay, I'll let you go. Oh my, you're flying very briefly. And I think he's dead. Nope, he's alive. Okay, let's go eat a Bulbo. Maybe we can bring a Bulbo with us. Yeah, let's go bring a Bulbo with us. Now, hopefully I don't run into a Warper. Okay, so we got a Bulbo. So... Basic plant pot. Where can we put this thing? Let's just put it right here. Bobo. There's our little plant. In the dead of night, we are turning our vehicle on. And we are going to go find that entrance. That's not a good idea. Especially with a reaper and warpers in the water. Oh, it's, it should be right there. So we're just going to turn forward. So it'd be easier to also get out. And just taking message. <laughs> that is right there. Ah! Okay, it looks pretty tight to be honest. Are we even gonna be able to fit this guy in there? I think so. Nice. This is pretty sick. It's like it was made for a Cyclops. There we go. And we are in. We need to go into this area. But I don't know which way. Oh, well, we haven't been in here if there's ion cubes. What is that? What the heck is that weapon? An alien rifle? What? Strong resemblance to human weaponry in form. This device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens that built this structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed, the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear that they consider defending this facility a necessary precaution. There is no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. I want a rifle! So there's a downstairs area. But there's also this upstairs area and a tablet. Okay. That's good to know. Ooh, what is this? Oh. When you get close, it opens up. 
doomsday device. Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. <laughs> oh God. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Ooh, well, let's open it up. What are these? Those power? This place must take a lot of power to power. <laughs> now, whatever this is. Ah! This looks even scarier. Energy core. Oh, I can't read it. Okay. This device houses energy equivalent to equivalent to 100 million tons of nuclear detonations which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Power is routed via the attached terminal allowing for the device to be deactivated if necessary. It is currently operating without parameters suggesting it will target any ship without range within range. Oh. So this is what shot down the Aurora, this entire facility. Interact? Okay. Click the button. Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh no, what are you? Get out of here, you snake-like figure. <gasps> the control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. <sighs> They're always saying I'm infected. I'm infected. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. Intercepted background data rega regarding further alien facilities elsewhere on the planet. Disease research facility. Oh, we went there. We went there. Depth 800 meters. Cave system with extensive fossil records southwest of enforcement platform. Enforcement plas platform? Function. Last specimen study. Objective synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium design designated Carrara. Well, we went there, so that's good. Um, thermal power facility, depth 1,200 meters. Location, insti inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity. Oh, generate energy for all local facilities. Hmm, I know there's something about 1,400, wasn't there? Sanctuary A, data corrupted. Sanctuary B, data re re corrupted. Offsite laboratory, data re corrupted. Primary containment facility. Primary containment. What, what does that mean? Data corrupted. In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with the with immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to prevent the spread of infection off-world. We know that we're doomed. Now, did I go through this? I don't know if I went. Th oh, this is the way we came. I forget which way. Oh, there was another door in there. So we can actually go through this, couldn't we? Through this area. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Can I ask? Alien arch. Okay. This structure intended purpose is unclear. Theories on function, ceremonial or religious role, industrial applications, advanced tra transportation network. Further research required. Hmm. Oh yeah, didn't it say... Ooh, did we unlock something new? We can create a purple tablet. It's time to get out of here. And avoid any Reapers too. Oh, another thing I was also told... Was that I should go explore this mountain. I should go into the caves. I don't think the caves would be underwater. So... Let's go on to the planet. Yeah, there's a cave right there. And just explore them. 
I can hear you, Reaper. I don't care. All right, we are on land. Now let's go s explore this mountain. Oh, there's some water inside of here. Very intriguing. Oh, am I going? <gasps> there's a big place down here. I don't like it. This is a scary cavern. Where does that go? Well, better go find out. There's another purple artifact down here. Let's grab it. Oh man. I didn't know these caves would be that big. Oh! I don't know what just happened. But I know there's a. Oh! Oh! Reaper, I know you can't see me, but don't scare me like that. Is there anything other, anything special in here? Or am I just going down and down and down and down and down? What? I'm not out of the water. Sounds like I just... Oh my god. Is there a reaper in the walls or something? Okay. Surely there must be more caves to look at. I'm not sure if I just missed them down below in there. But that was damn scary. Now there's one more area I want to go to before we try and attempt to even go down to 1400. Uh, it's a little place that I forgot to go check out before we went down to the Lost River. And so we are going to head to the Deep Grand Reef. What the heck? Oh. It got pretty dark quick. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> he ran right into the front of the ship. Alright, so we're back at our base, but we're not gonna stop back at our base. We need to go down there. Right below our base, actually. And we need to go deep. We won't be going up to 800 meters, but we'll be going around the 600 kind of level. Oh my, this is very deep. And we haven't been down here yet. It just sh comes to show how deep this place is right below our base. Now, we may run into some more electrifying jellyfish all over the place. Okay, we want to go in here. Hey, it's these guys in the mushroom forest. Now, we want to go in there. <laughs> the music is setting the mood. <sighs> now, I have no idea where we're going. But I know somebody who did crash land on this planet before made a base in this area. <gasps> there it is right there. Oh, no, no. Oh, it just crashed. I'm a great driver. Can't you tell? Large jellyfish right here. I ain't scared of you anymore. You do nothing. Nothing. So what we want to do, we want to get inside here and just loot. Oh, will you stop hitting me? Ah, uh, you guys are pestering me. Okay, did they do any major damage? Nope. Ah, stop doing that. Now let's make sure our inventory is relatively empty. Well, as much as we can. <laughs> and sure, let's bring our prawn suit as well. Oh no. Attach! Oh, he sees us. Ah! You want to fight? Oh no! Oh! Get out of here! No! Oh! Now let's get inside. Oh, we gotta get inside from this. Nope. Where do we get inside? Oh, right here. Oh! Ugh. Ooh, data pad. Ooh. Okay. We'll read that back when we're inside our prawn suit. Ooh, swim charge fins. Ooh, there's a coffee vending machine. I'd love to take that. Oh, do we have that already? No, wasn't there an upstairs floor? How do I get up there? Oh my god! 
Don't harm my prawn suit. Stop that. Oh my. Hi there. He sees me. And he's really eyeing me. You can't touch me though. Oh my. Oh my god. Now how do we get inside? I don't know how we're going to get inside. The second layer here? We need to get inside the second layer. Oh, we can go right in there. Now where are you, alien fish? I don't see him. So here, let's just go like in. Let's go. Oh, here's an aquarium. Ooh, that's another data pad. We should read the one we have already. Please stop fighting and listen. We're sick. What? How? You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Blisters? Yeah. The biometrics would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's not in the database. Come on, man. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out? Dissolve us into jelly? It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Every organism on this planet. It's altering our genetic code. Uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, son. Materials. Equipment. Just... Can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. Hmm. So yeah, the people from before, they were here and they knew they were sick too. Because we are also sick. Hmm. Here's another one. Oh uh oh Degassi voice log number nine disaster. Disaster. I have had it with you risking our lives. Oh, stow it, Chief. The kid can't kill this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing him home. But tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. It ain't always they oblige in coming in alive. It means you're being reckless. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. We have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Hmm. Bart, Torigal has disembarked the habitat. Bart, come in. It's dangerous. Tell it, boy. I knew you can hear me. Oh, God. Chief. Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace! Oh, God. Oh, God. So there is a Reaper in here? That's how they died? Oh dear lord, what a bad way to die. Oh, here we can go down underneath here. Ooh, what's this one? Risk taking. Integrating new PDA data. Ooh, I would love to take this home. Creature egg, okay. There's a creature egg in here. Ooh, I'll take these. I'll definitely take those. <gasps> Orange tablet. This device hums slightly and displays an orange lit symbol resembling an N. It may offer a way to interact with compatible technologies. Hmm, we're gonna need that. Margaret, Maida has boarded the habitat. What are you so happy about, Maida? Say, kid, I brought you something. Is that a Leviathan outside? Towed it home on the back of the sub. Oh no. You killed that thing? It's still breathing. I was about to finish the job, but I can stay in chat if you'd like. No. Then make yourself useful and pass me that hardened blade. Are you out of your mind? You brought that thing here? What if it's not as dead as it looks? What if others come? You prefer it got curious and came of its own accord? Or got messed up and dragged here? When we get off this planet, I am going to drag you through every court in the damn Federation. So Maida killed them. She brought a Leviathan home and then it busted right through. Okay. Well, 
We got an orange tablet, which is what I was looking forward to getting. Well, we've done a lot, so I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you all for watching. Have a lovely day. And hope to see you in the next video of my Subnautica series. Okay, bye!